Hey guys, Sam here. Today I am here with a what's in my travel makeup bag. I got a request to do this after I posted my chatty get ready with me about Disney. And I thought it was a good idea. So I recollected everything I packed for Disney pretty much. And I put it in my makeup bag and I have everything in it. And I'm just going to pull it out and tell you what I packed and why I packed it pretty much. So woo, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off with telling you about this bag. This is um, a Sephora makeup bag. Um, I believe it's called the, it's either called the Weekender or the Vacationer. Um, I'll put it down below once I find out. I got this like a year or two ago. Kathleen Lights talked about it and I thought it was perfect for traveling. I used to go back and forth a lot between my parents' house and my ex-boyfriend's house at the time. So I needed a really good, reliable makeup bag, and I invested in this. It was $40, so it was definitely more money than a normal makeup bag, but no regrets. I use it. So it unzips on the top here. You pull off the top. On the top here is like a little brush. Like you slide your brushes in here, and then this goes over it to protect them. Um, usually I do put my makeup brushes in here. I did not for my trip just because I was packing for like seven days, like a whole long thing. So I just put all my makeup brushes in another makeup bag, makeup pouch. But, um, I packed this pretty roughly, but there's essentially two big compartments in here. And then a little like thing up here. You can put like stuff in the middle. I think I put bobby pins or like q-tips in there and then there's like another pouch in the front that I can like put perfumes in. Um, I'm gonna go into my palettes real quick because I have them. I only brought two eyeshadow palettes with me. I brought my Makeup Forever tin that has like my favorite everyday eyeshadows in it. I did a whole video on this um, palette and all the eyeshadows I have in it which include Makeup Geek, Color Drain, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Color Pop. So I have a whole video dedicated to that. And then I just brought my favorite palette basically, which is by Color Green, the Queen of Hearts palette. I have there, I don't think I've ever done a look with this palette that I have not liked. Like this gold, I get compliments every time I use this gold and then like that taupe. And they're so pigmented. I also did a couple get ready with like tutorials or whatever with this palette. So check that out on my channel. Um, so we're just going to hop right in. I'm going to start pulling stuff out. Um, I brought my Cover FX um, Perfect Setting Powder. I'm actually like almost out of that, this, which is crazy because I like never go through products, let alone on like a huge translucent powder like this. So this is really reliable. It keeps me matte. It was 90 degrees every day in Disney. So I definitely needed to set my foundation. Um, this is a powder I brought with me, like, around the parks. This is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Pressed Powder. Um, it's just a white translucent powder. Nothing exciting about it at all. But I kept this in my backpack all day and would retouch my T-zone. It would mattify me completely. It made my makeup look really nice throughout the day. Um, I brought my Marc Jacobs Contour Palette, even. But it's literally empty. Like you can see there's like that just broke in this in my makeup bag right now. So that's a little upsetting. But I love using that powder for my nose. I contour my nose with that powder every day. I really should just invest in a new one. But like I've been hanging on to this for like months now. Um, and then I brought the Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer and Tantastic. This was limited edition. I don't know if you can still get it. But it's my favorite bronzer. I have not used another bronzer since I purchased this. Um, I brought two powder highlights with me. I brought Estee Lauder Heat Wave, which is gorgeous. You can purchase this, I believe, still. It's like 40 some dollars. It's gorgeous. And I believe it's limited edition, the packaging, my God. And then I brought Mac O Darling, which was in my um, April favorites. I've been using the hell out of it. I have a thing for gold highlighters, especially in the summer. Like, yes, please. I only brought two blushes. I brought this... Um, Marc Jacobs Air Blush and Flesh, Flesh and Fantasy. It's a nice, like, nude blush. Very neutral. Perfect for every day. And then I also brought the Too Faced Papadome Peach, which smells like peaches. Really pretty. 
just neutrally blush. I'm not very like exciting when it comes to blushes. I brought my sample of the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is the loose powder. I set my under eyes with this. It is wonderful. I might have to buy the full size. I really like this. Especially since I'm almost out of this. Like it would make sense for me to buy another loose powder. It doesn't really make sense because I have other loose powders I could use up but let's just go with it. I brought three foundations with me because I'm super extra. Um, I brought the Dior Forever foundation mostly because Jaclyn Hill has been raving about this and I really did love my foundation every time I wore Actually I'm wearing it today mixed with um, a little bit of luminizer. But it's, this is a really nice foundation. It does last really long on the skin and looks natural. Like, I feel like it looks super natural. And then the other ones, I just kind of mix these two. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I love this foundation. It's $6. I'm in the shade Golden Beige. I could probably go a shade deeper maybe for the summer. But it's so good. And then this is like my Holy Grail foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs. Um, Remarkable Foundation. This is the shade 33 Beige, which I think is a little dark for me. I might be more like 32, but I bet when I tan, I'll be good. But I was actually just like using mostly this and then like putting like a couple drops of this in just because this is so full coverage. And my foundation looked bomb. Like I had no problems with my foundation when I was in Florida. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. But I had no problems at all. Um... The primer I brought was the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil Primer. This is awesome for oily skin. Um, I'm almost out and I probably won't be buying. I'll buy it again eventually, but this is a $50, um, $55 primer. So you can't, it's expensive, girls. It's expensive. And then I also brought a little bit of Porefessional, this baby one, just for like my pores. I didn't use it every day, but I don't know. It's necessary. I brought my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. I brought the sh deeper shade, which is SX10. This is like the most fullest coverage concealer. It's like a little pot. It's super full coverage. I don't even think I really needed it. The weird thing about me, like in that heat or like when I travel, I don't break out usually. So I didn't have any breakouts. And then the foundations I brought were full coverage. So I don't really have any issues. So I can't remember if I used it, I used it once, but I don't think I even used this, but I packed it. Um, I brought the Tarte Shape Tape because this is my favorite under eye concealer. I brought Light Sand, which I think honestly is a little too light for me. I would go a shade deeper if I would repurchase this, but this is the shade I have right now and it does the job. Um, I brought my Tom Ford Liquid Liner. This side isn't working as great for me. It's like, it's still pretty black. I got this in November and this still like works like just as good as the day I bought it. So this is a $56 liquid liner. It's super expensive, super unnecessary, but I have had it for six months now and it still works just as good. And you guys see me use it in every tutorial. So that says something. I brought the Tarte. Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is in the limited edition packaging, so they sell it in this limited edition packaging, but you can get it in the regular packaging. This is a good solid mascara. Um, I wore lashes like half of the days I was there, and then the other half I didn't. I feel like I just like my makeup better when I wear false lashes. I'm not wearing false lashes today, it's funny enough, but yeah, the days I didn't wear false lashes, I just didn't like my makeup as much, so I ended up wearing lashes more than I thought I would. Um, this is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is the only eyeshadow primer I'm using right now. It did the job. No complaints. Um, I brought my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I brought a brand new one. I feel like every time I travel, I run out of brow products. Like, the last time I went to Florida, I ra ran out of my brow pencil, so I brought a brand new like never been used brow pencil and that's what I did my brows with um and then I also did the other like classic brow I brought my L'Oreal brow gel and then I brought my Maybelline brow precise the same stuff I always use um for my false lashes I had to bring my house of lashes 
Um, lash glue, I brought a brand, this is brand new. I just bought it right before I left because this is my holy grail. So this is what I needed. Got this, this is, you can't even see the label because I've used the hell out of these. It's almost empty actually. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. I mixed it in with my foundation some days. I mixed it in with my foundation today. And I put it on before my highlight. And then I would put my powder highlight on top. I was glowing. Like, I'll have to insert maybe a picture of me with the Fairy Godmother. But, like, you can see my highlight. Every time I hugged somebody, you can see my highlight. They captured it. So maybe I'll insert some pictures. But this is just, like, a liquid illuminator. It's super amazing. I've mentioned these like a million times on my channel, but it's just like liquid metal, like, like literally so pretty, but had to bring those. And then I brought some like pretty single eyeshadows to go along with my palettes. I brought the Dose of Colors um, shadow and shell. It's like an ideal duo. It's like cream on top and powder on the bottom. Super pretty neutrally one. Um, I brought two of the Stila, what are these called, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are like literally gl liquid glitter. I put, I brought Gold Goddess and Kitten Karma, which is my favorite, super pretty. And then, oh, my L'Oreal liner, basic liner. I brought one red lipstick to do, I wanted like a classic, I wore like a red dress one night, we went to dinner. And I just wanted like a classic red lip, so I brought a faithful one, Lady Balls. <laughs> Lady Balls from Too Faced, and I brought my favorite red liner, which is Always Red from L'Oreal Color Reach. I just did a tutorial, my chatty get ready with me, I used this liner. It's just my favorite. But I wore this all through dinner, and my lipstick looked fine at the end, which is a super exciting. And then I just brought pretty basic lip like nude lips like um the around the park with me I carry Jeffree Star's I'm nude and this is what I would reapply this is my holy grail um liquid lipstick I do not just support Jeffree Star products anymore I have not bought from his brand in a long time but this is the liquid lipstick I brought it I have a I just bought it before I decided that he wasn't a good guy anymore but whatever um, and then I brought a Bare Minerals gloss around with the park with me. This is Groovy. I got this right before I left. This was in Jaclyn Hill's, like, favorites. So I bought one of those. And then basically I just brought, like, three new liquid lipsticks and then I would top them with this. So the liquid lipsticks I would usually wear every day would be Nudie Patootie from Wet n Wild. Nice cool tone nude. This is like my favorite lip. You've probably seen me wear this every day. This is the Sephora, it's like matte lip cream or something. This is in the shade 32, nude blush or whatever. This is like my favorite lippy right now. Um, and I brought the Jordana Buttercream Frosting. I actually I think wore this one the most, which is like $5 from Walgreens. And super pretty, like light nude, like I like. But then I would top them all, I don't think I've mentioned these on my channel yet, I would top them all with this Kylie um, Cosmetics, this is in collaboration with Kim Kardashian West. Love the packaging. I got the whole collection, obviously, you can only buy the whole collection. And this shade Kimberly, which I think is like the most nude, and this one was my favorite. Um, and I would put these on top. It's not really a gloss, it's like a cream lipstick, but I just it would like... I feel like if I put this on top of a liquid, liquid lipstick, it would last longer. So I got this to last like half the day, like those kind of lip combos. But that was basically my travel makeup bag. I know I brought, I brought three foundations, guys. Like I brought three foundations and like five nude lipsticks. Like who does that? But I did. And I know I'm a little extra sometimes and I apologize. But what are you going to do? So that's personally what I brought. I put it in my checked bag and everything was fine. None of my powders broke, including my eyeshadow palettes. I put those in my checked luggage and I would like put them in between my clothes. Like I put them in with like all my shirts so they were like extra cushioned. But everything worked out for me.
thank you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Leave your comments down below. Like this. Share this. Thank you guys. See you again next time, okay? Bye. Today I am with did my chatty get red got from I got from Sephora. Okay, good job, Samantha. Well done. This is a four <laughs> Sephora makeup bag I got from Sephora. Poor palette, even though it's stupid because oh no, some of the powder literally just broke. I don't know if they still sell it in this limited ticket eyelash um eyelash whatever fucking glue <sighs> go talk about it with a friend be like the sam girl her hair looks dirty and her bed isn't made and there's shit on the floor and yeah go talk <laughs> i hate myself oh look did you guys see my tinkerbell nails they're super grown out now but aren't they cute? And my nail, and my ring, and no. Okay.